Welcome, welcome everybody to another wonderful installment of NPCs All Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Derek from atop Derek Mountain. I'm one of your panelists, I'm Luke. I'm also one of your panelists, Mac. And I will be the host of today, Rob. And the topic on hand, the wonderful geeky topic, I think that has spanned generation of generations to all of us. We're here to talk about Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. Top three favorite Pokemon for everyone here. Uh, I, I guess I'll go with the starter. My my eternal starter is Squirtle. Yes. And I'm going the whole line. Yeah. I, I can't just do one Pokemon. I love the starters, especially Gen 1, because you've got the, the baby Pokemon, which is adorable. Mm. Then you got the middle one that's like Aqua Teen Face. Yes. <laughs> and then you got these badass third gen. It's just they did it so right. I'll stick with the trend of starters. You said it, all right? Trico. <laughs> Easily one of yep. the best grass type Pokemon ever. Grovile yeah. is the ninja before Greninja. He is the ninja Pokemon. I never evolved them into. I don't even remember the extra tile. Yeah, I never, I never evolved. Them. I don't even know what his name is. I just learned that today. <laughs> for me, my favorite starter line is probably Mudkip. And I like Mudkips Ooh. before they were cool. So you know, <laughs> Mudkips before they before were cool. they were a meme. <laughs> I'm moving away from the starter line for my mm. third favorite Pokemon. Mine's actually Kyogre, the giant whale god of the sea. Mm. Groudon and Kyogre, they're they're. Uh, Vicious battles in, in the games and everything. They're just a, a really good kind of yin and yang for each other. And then yeah, Rayquaza. Right. It's just so... You just look at all three of those Pokemon, and you're like, those are legendaries. Yeah. When they fight, it's going to be cataclysmic. Yeah. It surprised me you say Kyogre because you're such a Godzilla fan. And yeah. And Groudon's like Rizumbo. Well, it's play. funny because like Groudon, like he's cool. I'm not like really too favorable towards him. It's same with Tyranitar. Like Tyranitar is like the Godzilla epitome, but I'm not like a huge hey, Tyranitar fan. My Pokemon <laughs> My second favorite Pokemon, everyone's going to see a pattern with my Pokemon, but I'm actually going to go with um, the Wally Pearl, the Wally Pool. Okay, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that yeah, line. Yeah, poly Polyamorous. Uh. <laughs> He's getting down in that swamp. My second, Tyranitar. Uh, oh, <laughs> I'd say my favorite, favorite Pokemon ever is uh, Salamence. I mean, Ooh. it's a good Pokemon. Aegon, who just wants dreams and aspirations to fly to being like a dragon ball, like literally just the ball. <laughs> That's still, oh, he, yeah, he's like yeah. even more cumbersome. It's like the shell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he finally turns into a awesome dragon. My second favorite is Haunter. I pr much prefer him over Ghastly and Gengar, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. He's, I don't know, he just kind of looks more like badass to me. He kind of looks like Vegeta with like the hair spikes, so maybe that's why I like him yeah. a lot too, and he's kind of stuck with me. My top favorite Pokemon is mostly because of the mystery. And I was, I don't know if you guys remember, like, the N64 era. Every game had something that didn't you couldn't do, but they had theories about it. Mm -hmm. And so everybody tried to do it. And my favorite was Mew, because I spent hours finding him, and he was not under the truck. <laughs> 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 I, can, I can guarantee that. It was just... It's just such a cool idea, and it gave so much like depth to the lore. I think it's Diamond and Pearl, the new Diamond and Pearl remake. The way to get Mew, and I think it's Jirachi in those games, there are these two old people on the side of the, the road. Yes! <laughs> and if you played, I think, uh, Sword and Shield and... I think there was a, another Pokemon game. You just talk to them, and they give you Mew and Jirachi. Yeah, that's... What a conversation. <laughs> oh! Here you go. Oh my god. It's kind of a tie between the two. Uh, one is mostly look and aesthetic. The other one is actually the, the description that actually won it for me when you look at the description mm. of a Pokemon. Drifloom. Uh, Drifloom, what Drifloom's I was thinking. Drifloom is F. But there's one more. Yeah. But there's one more. I'm like grabbing children and bringing them up into the sky. Like, what the hell? hell? Like, imagine you're in like a, a carnival. You're just like this little kid. And you're like, mommy, I want a balloon. And then all of a sudden, it's just, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Metagross is one of my favorite looking Pokemon, but the one that actually gets me uh, is the original psychic Pokemon, Drowsy. The Ooh. fact that he sits on kids' chests <laughs> while they sleep in what feeds <laughs> off of their nightmares. Drowsy is a that's messed crazy. up. It's MF. literally yeah. in the description in the first game. It's like Drowsy, a psychic type Pokemon, a Pokemon that sneaks into the room of children oh and God. sits on their chests and hypnotizes them while they sleep and feeds off of their nightmares. 
Forget a Ghastly, forget a Hunter, forget any of the other ghost-type Pokemon. That is pure nightmare food. You see yeah. this giant, like, small little elephant seal <laughs> just, <laughs> just eating your neck. Imagine being that kid, like, oh my god, Pikachu is an other normal thing. You look up and things just like... <laughs> I was gonna say Metagross for my second favorite. Hey! It was like the first like robotic looking Pokemon that just looked like pure machine. It, like it was made by like people. Mm. It was like made by the people of that world. And it was like nothing really like that other than like Magnemite, I guess. Yeah, I was and gonna say Magnemite. Yeah. Mag like other than that, like that, that, like there's like nothing else that's unique like that. The rounded out, my favorite Pokemon of all time. I am so happy that in Scarlet and Violet, uh, he's getting an evolution. The Pokemon oh, I am referencing is Primeape. Primeape oh, is my favorite Pokemon oh, of all time. I think it's again with the Vegeta connection because he's just like a pissed off pig ape that has like the little uh, stress yeah, anger stress that like Vegeta gets a lot. And uh, he's he's a, a fighting ghost type. So people are like, Primeape died? His evolution, like he died. He, I think he got so angry and so pissed <laughs> off that that killed him. Yeah, he <laughs> the just got a brain <laughs> yeah. or something. Apparently, he's gonna be a pain in the butt to obtain because you have to go through like a couple steps to do the evolution. Um, but well, you yeah. gotta kill him first. I guess so. Yeah. 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 You have to like hire a ninja to go kill the Pokemon. Like I gave this to the Pokemon Center daycare. <laughs> I need you to get in there and. Make it happen. Here's your shift. Get Best side quest in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Greninja just comes out, just bloody and everything else, crying. It's like, you did well. You did well. <laughs> did you, and when did you, start losing interest in Pokemon? What generation, I guess, was the time where you're like, all right, like, I'm growing up, I'm, I'm moving on in my interests. I think Diamond and Pearl, for me, was, was that point when I, I started... Losing interest in the series. For me, the last great gen, I thought, was Black and White Gen Five. That was like I was controversial. A, um, very controversial. Yeah. I really liked the games. The story was like very well written for a Pokemon game because you know they're pretty like generic most of the time. But yeah. that was like the first one that was like very in depth with like its world building and stuff. I knew every Pokemon up from Gen Five, mm -hmm. like like the back of my hand. After that, just like. These designs are just not interesting anymore. I don't think it's the gen with the best designs, but the designs that are good are really cool. Except for Watchog. Watchog sucks. Like, he's just <laughs> stupid looking. It's the stupid groundhogs. <laughs> Idiot. Isn't he the one that looks like Donald Trump with like the hairline? Yeah. We're gonna get all the Pokeballs. We're gonna get them all, and Kanto's gonna pay for it. <laughs> and it's a great, great ball. It is a great ball. I'm a firm believer that you can only have so many good ideas. Hmm. As you said, Pokemon, I feel like, just reaches mm -hmm. so hard to try to bring these Pokemon into the world. And then in my brain, I'm like, how'd you get there? The one that gets me, the trash. Oh, we're gonna get there with the worst are you, Pokemon are you, are you kidding me? Like, I was like, it's a pile of garbage. It's a little, <laughs> it's a little pile of garbage. Like, I'm not throwing a Pokeball at that. Why would I have use for a pile of garbage if every Pokemon could go ahead and kill it? Why? Because most Pokemon's gonna eat the garbage. And I, <laughs> they're animals. But I am going to defend him for a second. Here's my pitch for why he looks like Trubbish. <laughs> and tell me if this makes any sense. Shoot. So, like, we have um, Sudowoodo. Looks mm -hmm. like a tree. Sudo made of rock right so clearly he's not a tree that came to life mm. he's a pokemon who looks like a tree to blend into his environment right black and white was set in new york a city so these pokemon were developed in cities and mm. have to look like their surroundings to blend in right natural oh. selection the that's why trubbish looks like trash <laughs> does I the game that that actually makes sense. <laughs> so i went deep into gen one i'm talking could name every pokemon in numerical order Damn, had seen every show, played Pokemon Stadium, like it was other Great people's game. Mario Party. <laughs> like, I went deep. And then I got to gold and went, there's double? I can't remember all of these Pokemon. I can't do this again. <laughs> so I actually started... <laughs> they jumped off after them. <laughs> I, I was like, okay, I need a break. But I always tried to stay with it, and I thought every... Because every game, there, I was like, oh, these are the worst designs. They're not as good as one. Yeah, they're never going to be as good as one. Okay. But they're always going to have high highs and low lows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's, if we can have Psyduck in Gen 1, we can forgive some of the later goofy designs. Yeah. Gen 1 mostly does, does have great designs and great Pokemon. But then you have, like, 
Jinx, Mr. Mime, Muck. <laughs> Muck. Muck's, I like. Muck. I mean, Muck's I don't. Cool. I don't mind Muck and Grimer as much because I think they kind of made sense. Like they're sludge monsters. Like Mr. Mime, though, is just like a. It's a. He's a creepy. He's just, it's a <laughs> Pokemon. I love that you had to bare your teeth for that. He's a creepy <laughs> set of Pokemon. Voltorb. Vol- no, Voltorb. Yeah, he's I, just I a mean, Pokeball. Yeah, yeah. and the point was, you'd think it's a Pokeball, you'd show up, and yeah. it was a, a Pokemon. Like they at least had like a purpose for yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what Jinx is used for. <laughs> Jinx, Jinx, get back in the corner, Jinx. What about, what about? All right, I'll see you in an hour. You better have 200 bucks. <laughs> Jinx, 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 Jinx. Favorite legendaries. What's everyone's favorite legendary Pokemon? I got two. Lugia, Deoxys. Mm-hmm. I'm not straying far from Gen 1. I hope it's not a surprise. I'm going to go Zapdos. Thank God. Oh, nice. You said yeah. oh, oh, slapping the dog crap out of you, man. <laughs> he was two. He was Gen 2. I just love the fact, and I know everyone knows this at this point, but the first three legendaries being numbered, so it's Arctic Uno, Zap Dose, Dose and then Mole Trace. Yeah. That's clever, just cool. Why didn't they keep doing that? Yeah, that was a clever. <laughs> you didn't know that? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Similar to yours, though. It's going to Gen 2, and I'm going with Raiko. A Sabertooth, legendary. Like, that is so cool. Favorite and least favorite generation. I, I gotta go one as my favorite, Sword and Shield is not. Easy. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Easy. Not. I have to say my favorite was Sapphire. The worst. To be honest with you, I didn't give a damn about the Johto League or anything else like that. Any of those Pokemon. I really didn't care for any of them. They Why were would you not. say something so controversial? Because they just were they Yet were so brave. They were simple. <laughs> you got the Noctowl, which is, it's just an owl. Yeah. <laughs> toot, toot, yeah, hoot, hoot. Thank you. I love Noctowl. Yeah, I know you like A Noctowl. ladybug. I'm pretty sure the thing was Ladybug. just called Ladybug. Yeah. Like, ladybug, <laughs> yeah. Emerald's definitely my favorite. Good Least choice. favorite, it's a tie between X and Y and Sun and Moon. It's funny. Three of us agree uh, our favorites, uh, Gen 3. My favorite game is Sapphire. Listening to the music, just listening to everything, like it's it's such a dopamine hit. Lavender Town. Ooh. Give me that. Next. Make you go crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and probably the best quest in any Pokemon game. Is that mission where you find it's Marowak? Uh, yep, Marowak. in the tower. That, that, that was, was really dark. That was dark. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, the, the the game is about a kid who lost his dad, went out in the world alone to it's, fight it's a Mom mobster. Mr. Mr. Mimes is dead. There's Mr. Mimes is dad. There's a bunch of mobsters who are stealing Pokemon, <laughs> and he has to go into their casino to break. Like the whole game is kind of dark. <laughs> I guess there's a theory where Team Rocket is actually like the good guys because like yeah, they're I heard like. That. They're like trying to like stop Mewtwo, and they're trying to like, just like, make the world of Pokemon a better place. And then Ash just comes along, and like screws everything up. <laughs> just don't throw Pokemon at him at this point. Just beat him. Up, <laughs> oh my god! Can you imagine Jesse it's, and James just mud hole stomping Ash into the ground. I and, always... then just, and then just Ekans just swallows the kid whole. Like <laughs> the end of the series. Let's put this a different perspective. All right, the first episode is that Pikachu electrocutes all the Spearow. He dies. We never get the quest to go after Pikachu ever again. <laughs> Ash falls into a deep depression because the first Pokemon he ever gets, he helps kill because he wants to catch them all. But what he catches is an ass woman. James is coughing. Just have him tackle Ash and he'll just get cancer because that's all coughing is. <laughs> that's, all, that's all he is. Coughing is just the living cancer cell. Oh my god. He goes back to Professor Oak. The terminal. I saved the world, Professor Oak. No, but you were close. High five them. Flat line. <laughs> You were close. <laughs> Mom is just having nightmares and drowsy, just sitting on her chest, just, <laughs> just loving every moment of it. Yes, children, death. Yes, you will not have another child oh. because Mr. Mind doesn't have a peep. <laughs> oh. This kind of going back to what we were talking about earlier. Worst Pokemon design. It's the ice cream Pokemon called Vanellish. Yeah, and right. the vanilla, the Vanellish line, it's literally a ice cream cone. And then on top of it is a scoop of vanilla ice cream. And that's it. It's just yep. an ice cream cone Pokemon. And, like, they don't even try to hide it. They don't try to do anything, <laughs> like, creative with it. Going, actually, to Gen 1, I think it's the worst design, even more so the Voltorb. Zubats can suck oh, my foot. I hate Zubats. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a bat with a huge mouth. I think they're mm-hmm. the most annoying Pokemon in game. I'm going to stick on the trend of just Pokemon that just shouldn't be Pokemon. They already exist. Is I think the name is Her- Herder or Herdier? Herdier. Herdier is just like a Yorkshire Terrier. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, that thing, yeah. <laughs> like, 
I don't know why. I lived with a Yorkshire Terrier at the time. I didn't want that thing in my game. <laughs> I had enough. I would be fine with a Yorkshire-inspired Pokemon. Yeah. But do something. Don't just give me a dog yeah, and be yeah. like, he's got bite. <laughs> And mine does too. <laughs> what are you gonna give him next? Pee on the rug? Like, no, give me a Pokemon. My least favorite is Love Disc because Love Disc oh. is literally worthless in every aspect, except for getting heart scales. Yep. But mm. it just doesn't look like anything anyone would want in their life. It um, thank you guys so much for watching and or listening on this wonderful installment of MPC's All Podcast. We had a great time, and hopefully you did as well. If you did enjoy, if you're watching on YouTube on the highlights, please leave a comment down below on possibly what other topics you want to go ahead and hear talked about on the podcast. As well, as you can follow us on Twitter, and you can also catch this live and going live every Wednesday. You will be able to listen to this on Spotify, or you will be able to catch the highlights every single Thursday on the Atop Derek Mountain YouTube channel. My name is Derek. I'm Luke. I'm Mac. And I'm Rob. And this was NPCs all. Have a good rest of your day. Sayonara, Shadow the Hedgehog. If you want more Mountain Madness with your Arc Sage on top of this peak, consider heading over to my Twitch channel of the same name. Atop, Derek Mountain. I stream three days out of the week where you can find me playing FPS Pew Pews. I mean, I, I never took any took film school in any capacity, so I, you know, I only know. Oh my god! <laughs> Roleplay on Red M and 5M servers. Dailies. What does that even mean? <laughs> and a bunch of other variety content as well. Also, I exist on these platforms too, so if you want to stay in the loop, I'll see you there. Thanks again for watching and for having the willpower. To ascend!